What's the deal, family? Welcome to another episode of Sips of Success Podcast. I am Cameron. This is my beautiful wife, Erin. Hey. What's good, babe? Oh, nothing. Just trying to make it through the day. What did you do today? Work. Lots of work. And also just getting dressed is it takes an effort. It's a task. So yeah. So okay. that was work. Um, and now we're recording. And I cooked and you know, just I'm a little tired today. But I want to go out because it's so nice out. So I don't know. We'll see Better how I feel. Going up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are we sipping on? Uh, this is a lemonade frosty. Cheers. It looks yummy. I need a straw though. Yeah, this is this. This takes a straw. I almost knocked this mug off. The- <laughs> oh, don't. Mmm. Mmm. It really tastes like lemon, like. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Is this your dessert enough? Mm hmm. We don't got to go out for dessert. It kind of tastes like lemon ice cream. Yeah, you could say that, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. It's like a lemon frosty. Yeah. Is that what you called it? I think that's what I just called it. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, that's literally what it tastes it, like. Yeah. It kind of tastes like how Chick fil A mixes when you mix the you know what? ice that's cream what, with that's, the lemonade. Yeah, yeah, that. It's really good. And it was really easy to make. It was like lemon juice, sweetened condensed milk, and ice. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. So this or that. I saw this on threads. I can't remember who the creator is who threaded it. But it said something along the lines of, would you rather have a 800... Do- oh, Lord. Would you rather have an 800 credit score make... $800,000 a year or wait, what was the other one? Or own 800 acres of land. So 800 credit score or $800,000 a year or 800 acres of land. What does this land have? Just It's just, it's just land. So there's no benefits to having the land? Babe, you're asking too many questions. I don't know. Just a um, big piece of land that you can do what you want on. Build on it. I don't know. Sell it. I mean, I think it's variable. So for to be safe, I'm just going to go $800,000 uh, per year. $800,000 per year? Yeah. I think the only variable for me with the land would be... Well, not only variable, but like where would the where is the land? That's what I'm saying. There... Because like 800, 800 acres of land in New York, in New York City is like invaluable. Like yeah, that's like worth that's way more than eight hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, it would have but to also be a, a pretty great return on my investment to have that property if I one if I sold it or. But eight hundred thousand, I mean eight hundred acres is a lot of land. Yeah, so it's but kind of I mean, like yeah. Let's like, say best case scenario, you can sell it. But or, you may only be able to sell it for eight hundred thousand, depending on the value of it. It doesn't matter that it's just this big piece of land. It can Obviously, have, huh? It can have oil or but I'm, lumber. I'm asking, like you had to put, like if it's oil, we're going to make money for the rest of our lives, right? So at that point, I take the land. We just eating. We probably making a great amount of money anyway, right? So yeah, but if it's just a piece a of land one. that you driving by and they. And you get it evaluated, and there's, oh, this is just eight hundred. Oh, yeah, I can probably build a house, but I'm, I'm spending money. Or what if you have like livestock on it, and you can have like a farm? But that ain't or... my thing. So I, I, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be a great farmer. Well, you don't have to be the farmer. To get things started, probably so, because I like to know how to do something before I know how to pick someone to be able to, you know, right to work. do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hard one. I don't know. I read it on Threads, and I was like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like is I feel like you can the eight hundred credit score is out of like I, yeah. I don't really care about that as much because yeah. if I have liquid cash and can live like a cash a cash life, then but I feel like even having that much cash, I feel like the eight hundred is up unless you're dumb with your money. But I mean, eight hundred thousand a year is not that much. Unless you're not smart with your money. I don't, I don't know if you can say dumb nowadays. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one's kind of hard. Let us know what you would do. Yeah. I I would like to say if the land is 
a viable piece of land that I can make more than eight hundred thousand dollars off of, then I'm going for the land. But that's why I asked the question. Yeah. Um, easily. Yeah. So, okay. Well, anyway, what are so we are talking you, about? So you taking today? the land? Is what you're saying? I would take the land, given the fact that I don't think that that question would even make sense if Unless the land had, didn't have any type of value that's, that's, to it. That's also a good way to. Yeah. Way to so. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Okay. So. What are we talking about today? Oh, we got like some more questions that yeah. came about. So the first question is for Aaron and it is. Well, let me set the tone first. Okay. Okay. So we are going to ask each other questions from a man's or woman's perspective toward the opposite. Okay. So my questions to Cameron are for me to get a man's perspective and his to me are to get a woman's perspective. Okay. All right. So Do you want me to start? Well, the first one is for you. It's for me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, this question is... Directed guy, to a woman. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, how would you feel if a guy made you pay on the first date? How would I feel if a guy made me pay like, on the he first said, date? He set it up. He said, hey, you know, I want you to come out or go out with me, blah, blah, blah. We're going to A, B, and C for dinner. We're going to go to... DEF for dessert, you know what I'm EFG, for EFG for you know nightcap, whatever the case may be. <laughs> but he said you got to pay for yourself. Oh, so we're going Dutch. That's what he's saying. He he tells the waitress to split the bill. That's I, what he said. I guess that's how I took the question. I guess or paying for both of y'all. Oh, absolutely you know what? not. Matter of fact, add this on there because <laughs> I just did this. I do this all the time. I mean, we married, so it doesn't really matter, and you don't even look. But if I leave, leave my wallet or something in the car. Mm. And he, then if he left his wallet in the car, well, he can go say get he it. Le- say, say he left his wallet at the crib. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> you got Apple Pay. Who don't but, have Apple Pay? But you can't Apple Pay at a restaurant, babe. You might. Sometimes I mean, no, some, some restaurant, depending on where y'all go, say he said, uh, say it was a steakhouse, for example. <laughs> they ain't walking around with that little chip thing. Oh, they no. They don't do that there, so. Um, okay, so for one, I would be irritated. Like, for if you left your wallet at home, I would be irritated. I feel um, like I just added a whole bunch to that. But you like, did. Yeah. Just simply um, if you had to pay, I guess. If I had to pay on the first date, it would be definitely a turnoff. Like, I, especially if you have initiated the date and planned the date. Yeah. um, Part of me is like, if I was the one who initiated, so maybe we went on a couple of dates and I initiated, then I would be, I would intend to offer to pay. Although I would hope that he would be like, oh, no, I got it. It's fine. You know what I mean? Three dates in. Yeah, like if I if I initiated the date, then I would go into the date expecting to offer to pay. And this is who you are now, not like ten years ago, right? This Man. is who I am now. Okay, gotcha. yeah. <laughs> um, and so I w- <sighs> but if he actually did make me pay and I offered to pay, I would be okay with that. Okay. Um. I would, and especially if he expressed like deep gratitude for it, like, wow, you like, thank you. Like you really didn't have to do that. Like I really, I think that that makes it, that makes a difference. Better. Um, but if I were asked to go out, I would not want to pay for my own date. No. And to me, if you're the type of guy who is not ready or willing to spend steakhouse prices on me on the first date i'm okay with that but take me somewhere that you are willing to spend like that amount of money and yeah if if it doesn't work out you're not like losing sleep over the fact that you spent (laughs) three hundred dollars yeah three hundred dollars for a night that we didn't like it didn't go anywhere so i feel like that expectation is kind of like unrealistic for at least in my opinion, to have of a guy to be taking you on all these like fancy dates on the first date. I'm fine with like a good bowling, that like an activity. It yeah. could be. Yeah. 
And if he and if that's fine for, for some men, three hundred, four hundred dollars in a night is like yeah. very casual, casual. spending, yeah, casual. and that's fine. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. 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 Now I will say this though: Do you feel as though because I feel like women taking men out on dates is very far and few in be- in between. Mm-hmm. Do you think that like you offering? Is it just you offering, or do you think a woman has to like actually like you know I want to take you out like it's beyond the like hey I mean I'll pay if yeah need be. do you think that you have to actually like no nah, I want to take you out I want to give you a date type yeah of thing. Do you think I think you- it would be like oh I found this cute place I already reserved it like it's already paid for like I want to take you because I think you'd have yeah, a good because time. I, like, feel I think like we'd have a great time like, that's what I'm saying I don't mind that okay I feel, I feel like, like it's it I feel like it's Okay, I think women have. I think we. It's so weird because gender roles are so like people don't. We people want to act like they don't. Right. Exactly. Like go by gender roles but until it comes to dating, and right. then everyone's like, and "Oh money. no, yeah." yeah. Dating and money. <laughs> how dare the woman be the breadwinner, or how dare right. the woman, you know, Do one, the two, the woman can be the breadwinner, but how dare she pay for a date? You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, <laughs> it like you know, but I feel like. If I have the money to me, the to me money is not. I would never want it to feel like it's the most valuable aspect of a relationship, and because of that, I don't mind spending my money on somebody that I think is worth it. Is worth it, yeah. Right, right, right. And that goes. That doesn't just go for like a guy I'm dating. That just goes for whoever people in general. In general. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might be treating out a friend, yeah, or a family member, whatever right. the case may be. Yeah, for sure. I kind of look at it. Like that, you know. Okay, okay, okay. Right, good answer. Cool. Uh, the next one's for me. I don't know if you want to read it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> what would you do if a girl invited you over, but her place was nasty? <laughs> 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 and I mean nasty. When you say nasty, like what's nasty? Like paint a picture for me. Like okay, walk you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in, it's stuff everywhere, you know, like, it's, it's like shoes and stuff all cluttered up against the front door. You go into the bathroom, it's not clean. She's got like toothpaste splatter all over the, <laughs> all over the, all over the um in the guest mirror. Bathroom? Like what? Like God damn. Um, she's got you know like dirty clothes and underwear and stuff all on the floor. That's wild. Um, dirty dishes in the sink. The place just doesn't smell that great. Like it's got a stench. <laughs> um, maybe she has an animal and maybe she has like a dog or a cat that sheds. So she's got like animal Herb. hair on the couch. <laughs> Is that a good enough picture? That's a horrible Oh man! But she, um, but when, but your first impression of her, she is very well put together. Like imagine it's me, but you come to my house and that's what it looks like. You like you have no idea. I met you out, but then yeah, like yeah. you, like I come across as like a clean, neat person, and then you come to my place. <laughs> I don't even know where I. Am. And that's not how I am, by the way. We wouldn't be here. <laughs> Please believe this. Mm-mm. Um. Pfft. Um, you know what? I would one, I think the moment that I she opens the door, I would have to think very quickly. Uh I think I think I think quick on my feet for the most part, would you say? Yeah, you need to speak up. Oh, do I? Yeah, because okay. your levels are kind of low. My bad, my bad. Um, I think that I think I, like I said, I think I think quick on my feet. So if I if she opened up this door and I gave a scan, because I always give a scan to I don't care whose house it is. Um, I was like, you know what? I think we should, you know, go out. Like, matter of fact, I I, I know this spot we, I like to go to type thing. Try to like, you know what? I don't need, you know, we ain't got to kick it in. It's a nice day. Hopefully it's a nice day or something like that. It's stormy. All right. Aaron, you, <laughs> <laughs> Pouring <laughs> rain. Babe, you can't and do that. She, <laughs> and she's like, you know what? My place is right around the corner. And you like, but let's just go there, Kiki. Wait. Oh, and I'm about to text my sister and say, hey, I need you to call me in an emergency. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then what do you do afterwards? So she's super cool. Like, y'all hang out. Conversation's great. Vibe's great. Are you telling her 
that you can't be with somebody whose place is a mess? Or are you, or like, I don't know, addressing it in some kind of way? No, Maybe not in that way. Or are you just going to basically ghost her? Is this somebody that, like, I just met her and she invited me over? Like, we, I'm just now, like, I'm really just not. Y'all getting... have been on five dates and you actually, like, liked like her? her at this point. Ah, uh, you know what? That's still not long enough. And I think that I'm going, I'm going to go realistic based on how, how I've dated. Um, I think that I would make it like casually go away. Mm, I think okay. I've done that. So, you know, like you did, no, like you did me for a while. You didn't casually go away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, probably like that. <laughs> Oh my god! No, nah, you know it's like I'm a we like we, you just we let it cool. fizzle away. Yeah, we cool, but I'm not really giving you that. I think I start dropping the energy, not like a big drop, but it's kind of like. And okay. before you know, it's like you know we we're not really talking no more. Yeah. Okay, and if she asks, like, what happened? Like, we were vibing. What what happened? Ever since that day you came over, like you've just been acting weird. Um, what if she says like, oh, my sister, she came over and just wrecked my place. Like, do you want to come back? How would she, how would she know Maybe she put two and two together. But Aaron, the way you describe the house, if your sister did that, I don't even want to meet your family. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, nah. Uh, oh my goodness, babe. Your sister did Everybody that. doesn't live the same. Hey, and... And if you don't live the same, that's cool. Find somebody who live who is cool with that. Okay. I ain't saying that you ain't cool for somebody. It just ain't for me. Right. No, you I know, get. That. I ain't saying somebody ain't gonna. You know. Ain't got a lot of, you. Yeah, you ain't got a lot of kick it really, but. Uh, um, that is so funny. Yeah. No. I. It's, it's a ride. Well, for me, I would never even invite someone to my place if I felt like it was but not. I, up to uh, up to par, but like, I, that's that's what I'm that's saying the though. Thing. That's you, more of you the may issue. think you first of all, but like, when people come threshold here, threshold is different. That's what I'm saying. People have come here and they're like, "That was that was your dirty or something like yeah. that." So yeah, you would say that, but someone may be used to like, mm -hmm. "Oh, I moved a few things out the way. We right. good." Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. <sighs> so right. Um. Yeah. No. It's that's not cool. Yeah. For me. Okay. I ain't saying it ain't working out for somebody else, but no, not for me. Yeah. And I think I think if she did ask, I think me today, I probably would tell her, you know? Yeah. I feel like I've, I mean, just like I had a, the friendly conversation I had with our neighbor. Yeah. I don't think I'm afraid. I don't even want to use the word afraid. I don't think I'll shy away from a situation per se. Um, and maybe she can learn from that. Yeah. Okay. Particular situation. And maybe she hadn't dated nobody who cared. Right. Um. You know, she could have. She could have had from head to toe been a ten or whatever, and had a nasty place. But a lot of guys are like, you know what? Hey, well, I'm of, about to just get yeah. in and out real quick. Some you know guys so, also just live like that. Too, and but some so also, yeah, some guys also live. They don't care. They don't care. So. Okay. You know. Well, what's the next question? Uh, I think that's the next one is for you. What would you do if a guy offered to take you out? He comes to get you, but his car breaks down once he picks you up. Like y'all, fifteen minutes into the drive, um, and you got like another fifteen minutes to go or something like that. Like it's I don't know about a thirty minute drive away from wherever you lived at, but mm. his car breaks down. You babysitting? You said that like there's some alcohol. I mean, just this really drink. tastes like some dessert. Yeah, it does. Okay, his car breaks down. He picks me up. <clears throat> what kind of car is it? Wow. <laughs> that, yo. Is it like a is it like a BMW that glitched or is it, is it like or <laughs> the fact that or, like, is it, or is it like a one of your first cars Wait, that about, broke bro, stalled fact, out on the freeway? The fact <laughs> that you know that a BMW can glitch is insane. <laughs> what? Like do I talk about cars this much? I'm just saying. Wow. Okay. Um, like, there's levels to what a breakdown is. Does his tire <laughs> no, fly off? No, like his car stall out. Okay, no. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I... 
Like the engine started smoking and everything. Like, oh gasket, my god! <laughs> gasket blow. Babe, like. that's too extreme. <laughs> hey. I wouldn't probably even be going out on a date with somebody whose car who doesn't have a reliable car. If you don't. You may not know. You may. It may like. That's why I said, is it like a nice car? I'm not gonna that say. Now, I wouldn't say like a hoopty. I wouldn't say like my Escort per se, but I would say like one of my Hondas, one of my uh, Accords. I ain't saying it's a brand new car. It's not It's not my vet or Audi. It's not like a name brand car that's, I guess, popular by my name. It's not none of that. It's just, you know, casual. Just say Honda Accord. It's not a newer one. It's, I'm a, I'll give you this. 2010 Honda Accord. 14-year-old car. And you don't know. And I'm where I'm at in life right now. Yeah. Yep. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't. I don't think I could. I would feel safe. In, and honestly, it really doesn't even have to do with where I am now. Just in general. Like, so what, I, wait. So do you say you see the car and you're like, I don't feel safe? Or like, no, what are if you it saying? breaks down, I'm calling my dad. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. And you I'm get, like, so you, you get in the car. Like, you me. cool with what he, it, it doesn't matter what he's driving. It's more so like once that happened. Wait. Yeah, once that happened, no. Okay, I so can't deal with that. Now, you calling your dad? I'm calling my dad. Literally. Come get, Come get me. me. Come get me now. <laughs> Immediately yesterday. Um, I'm screaming, bro. And at that point, I don't think I would be dating that guy again. If my dad has to come rescue me from a date, <laughs> no. So, I. Well, first of all, I'm not the I I'm not shallow in the sense that I would look at his car and be like, oh no, I can't give you a chance. Right. I would I just want to make, know, I just wanted to be clear on that. Yeah, you weren't saying that. I would want to know where he's at in life, though, and that's regardless of whatever kind of car you drive. Well, this ain't got nothing to do with. But none I'm of that. just saying, like, yeah. in terms of your car stalling out, like that means that you've had car issues. Like, well, no, no, well, so what yes, if, babe. <laughs> <laughs> like, if your car just what stalls if, out in on the freeway, no. What if, what if he hit you up and he's like, really apologizing, like, this is I have never dealt with this before. Like, I, I feel, like I'm embarrassed. Uh-huh. Kind of doing what you just did to me, like she hit me up trying to explain her okay her nasty house. But this is a little <laughs> different, you know. It's a car, right? Yeah. And he like, I, it, maybe he say, "I get it. I you may not even want to ever trust me taking you somewhere again." Blah blah blah. Right. Um, I don't know. We're driving my car on the next date if I go on another date with him. So you, you the the chance is still open. Um, depending on how he de- goes about it. Yeah, if okay. he owns up to it and is like cool about it and like apologetic then i would consider it okay so uh, for me i ain't considering nothing so i was just making sure i would consider it but the i, I just i don't know i would be that's what i was kind of saying am i where i'm at in life and where is he at in life because well i, I also mean, feel like i mean yeah maybe if we were like in college but, no, but at he this made, point no, i'm listen, like listen, wait, wait, wait. well he, i'm just i want to explain myself okay. because at this point i'm kind of like no money isn't everything but there is some type of level of comfort and lifestyle that, that i have, have been accustomed to right. now based on like what i've been able to accomplish accomplish on yeah. my own so i'm like i don't I don't see myself dating somebody in general whose car is stalling out while I'm while, like while we're driving. They don't value how even if they're doing doing good, even, they don't value yeah. how you would. Yeah, even if you were even if you were like making more money than me, and you were just like, I'm just a, such a low maintenance person. I love to just save ninety seven percent of my income. <laughs> I don't buy anything. Yeah. I don't like to go out to eat. I don't right. want a nice luxury house like. No, that, then that means that we're not on the same page I because want that's what I like, yeah. you know? And so it doesn't really have anything to do with like how much money he has. makes or has. It's more about like, what do you value? Because you can either, for one, maybe you don't make a lot of money. And it's like, well, are you content with that? If so, like, I need somebody who wants more out of life. You right. know what I mean? And also, if you do make a lot of money and you're driving that, like, why? You know, like, <laughs> well, I'm not, that's also just not the lifestyle that I'm aligned with. So, you know, I yeah. kind of feel like 
either way, sometimes the materialistic stuff does it show makes it, what you value. It makes it to difference. some extent, you yeah. know. So, I think I, I would say for us, I think we do like nice cars, but I don't think that either of us care about like maybe like flashier clothes or mm-hmm. name clothes. But we do like we we will always probably stay in. Um, a nicer vehicle. Well, I think a car is really important because it's like you want to be safe as well, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, like, that, it doesn't have our, to be. How does our, uh, it, yeah, not if it's stalling out. <laughs> like, you need to sell that or get rid of it. But, like, I wouldn't, I'm not saying like I wouldn't mm. drive a, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's all relative to say the least. Okay, is it my turn? Yeah. What would you do if a? Uh, oh wait, you just no. asked me that. If a girl called you another man's name, what would you do? Um, can you paint a scenario? Like, what is this no. girl like? Is this you? Is this me? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> you're not gonna put me in this picture. Shoot. Um, <laughs> maybe. You give her a nice gift, and she's like, oh. So we in the gift stages. Yeah, you buy her like a nice pair of shoes or something, shoes. like some gym shoes. Oh, okay, yeah, we in the gift stages. And it's Valentine's Day or something, like, you know. <laughs> she's, and she's my Valentine. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's like, and you're, she's like, oh, thanks, Drew. I mean, Cam. My, I almost said my, uh. <laughs> What do you say? Like, Drew who? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean... I don't do you take that. the shoes back? Or do she keep the shoes? She keep the shoes. Okay. I just, but you know I got this for you, but you, you obviously, we ain't. So that's just it. That's like, it. Maybe she, and what if she comes back and says like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Nah. Like, I... Just like, just what? <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. What was what you if, just doing? What if that was her cousin's name or something? Aaron, ain't nobody mistaken. <laughs> up. What if she just got off the phone with her cousin Drew? No, ain't nobody. And Drew ain't bought her nothing. <laughs> so, <sighs> so it's just over, just like that. Yeah, I mean, I'd be cool. It's just I don't think I'd really be tripping. It's just like, dang, you, you. You thinking about Drew for real. So this really maybe this Drew- actually happened to me. Huh? This happened to me. Not I didn't call the guy. The guy called, called me you? somebody else's. Oh, name. that's crazy. Yeah. Dang, for real? Who's that? <laughs> I can't say it out loud. Oh, yeah. Tell me right there. But yeah, it was my first boyfriend. Oh, word. <laughs> And yeah, he called me some other girl's name. And I was like, <laughs> I was just dumbfounded. I mean, at that point, things were already Rocky. just not good. Oh, okay. We were in high school. It was like a high yeah, school. Yeah, I, I mean, thing. yeah. But I like, mean, I was so just like, I feel like that's just such a low blow, you know? Because it's like somebody else is me. on your mind. Yeah, for sure. And I'm in your presence, and you still are thinking about that person. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking. About I come bearing gifts, and you talking about Drew. Yeah. And we. It ain't even another C Drew. name. <laughs> <laughs> it, it ain't even another. You ain't even like say. Uh, I don't even know another word that go close to Cam. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. It would be a wrap. Dang. Yeah, I think that that's a very great end to a relationship. Yeah. Like you called me someone else's name. Like there's really nothing you can explain. I feel like I I can even, I would even say like I feel like if you call some, some someone else somebody's name to me you're just more in contact with that person, and because of that maybe like your your convers you having more conversations and maybe an action that I took reminded made you think of them made them re, uh, reminded them of whoever the other person is. Right. I mean like, sometimes that, I call people babe. Yeah, I'd be like, bet, and then I'm but like, I'd be shoot. sitting right there, like we be. You just finished talking to me, <laughs> so yeah, no, okay. yeah, no, that that's that would be. Or sometimes I might slip up and want to call you girl, like girl, tell me why. Yeah, you be doing that, for sure. <laughs> but you be you just be like, you but be it's because I'm mama. excited. 
Yeah, but you would be like, there. there's a another woman that you're talking to in that moment, and then... I have to switch gears. Yeah, you don't switch. Like, it ain't, yeah, it's qu- hard it ain't to clicking switch. fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, you know. Yeah, no. I, I, I'm i with you on that. It's it's a done deal. Take the shoes or not, but either way, we're done. We cool. Like, hey, I ain't even got nothing no, against you. No, we're just done. No, I'm saying like, we, like, I'm good on you. Like, we cool. I'm good on you. Like... We don't even have to be cool. When I say that, I'm kind of like, I ain't I ain't about to be sweating you. Like, I don't care at this point. Yeah. Because if you try to stick around and try to make up, then you're going to be one of the hurt feelings, basically. Yeah, you might as well just take you this might as well L take and this, just yeah. keep it pushing. I'm going to take an L, and if you really made a serious mistake, hold your L, too. Yeah. And you may not make a serious mistake. I don't know. But you're going to have to hold that well, L. That's jacked up. <laughs> Glad I never did that. Yeah, we. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't either. I would have never done that. But shoot, you you uh, you would come swinging around. So Man, be quiet. <laughs> if anything, I might almost made him think he caught somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> we talked too much. So I was, you know, yeah. That would have been more the be the wrong side of the effect on whoever I'm trying to talk to at the moment because right. of what. Oops. But uh, Oopsies. yeah. I guess. Well, were those, this was fun. Were, were those like that was all of them? Yeah, were those like considered juicy questions? I don't know. Let us know what I you don't think. Know. Do you? Yeah. Do we're you? we're gonna start having guests on here too. Yeah. Which will be fun. We're kind of trying to wait until the basement is done because we want to have our guests down there. Yeah. We're just doing kind of some like light, lighthearted conversation yeah. stuff. We're we're super busy right now, and it's just like, but we can't we can't leave y'all hanging either. So yeah, um, but I feel like you guys enjoy these. Like when yeah. we ask do the questions, yeah. it always those ones always. I think they're still thought provoking, and it might be something some people has have, have actually, actually gone, gone through. through. Right. Yeah, if you're going through this, if you feel uh, secure with talking about it, I would <laughs> I would love to hear like your uh, comments. Yeah, we're wanting some questions, so we're gonna both put question boxes on Instagram and recruit for some questions um, so we can do an actual Q&A one of okay. these days yeah. <laughs> instead of us Q&Aing each other all yeah. the time. Okay. So let's do that. All right. Well, hey, hope y'all enjoyed these uh, somewhat uh, crazy questions, I guess, that have never happened to us. I think um, Aaron's hypotheticals and scenarios that can be twisted sometimes can be fun but <laughs> yeah oh i should start what? doing uh, i'm i'm like at the end of the pregnancy now but i feel like we should start doing a mini update at the beginning oh at the beginning podcast. of each podcast yeah okay. just to kind of have some type of like journal we can start on the next one okay yeah okay all right y'all if Alrighty. you rock with me then you rock with us we'll see you in the next one bye